Hey everyone, um, we are here on the road today, beautiful sunny day, we have left Canuck Chase and we are heading to Sheffield. We had a very short stopover at Stoke-on-Trent, um, an amazing experience <laughs> um, and uh, we are now back on the road. Oh now come on, you're going to have to elaborate, you can't just say that. No, oh, well... <laughs> There's a haunted museum that I wanted to go to, um, and uh, we did try and find it. Um, unfortunately, we came in from the back end of Literally. Stoke on Trent, which wasn't very pretty. Um, it really kind of showed uh, the difficult end of town. I'd the, say there's a lot of um, unemployment, yeah. uh, a lot of struggles in that part of town by the looks of the... The buildings and the vacant blots, blots, what do you call plots? Yeah. Um, and like we were just trying to find somewhere to have a cup of coffee, and so many places are shut. And we did find a beautiful little one called Eleanor's, didn't we? Yes. We had pancakes. Yeah. Bischoff pancakes, and you had fruit pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. And a lovely cup of coffee, or as we like to say. A a cup of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So a, a lot of coffee without a lot of coffee in it. Yeah. A yeah. lot of milk. A cup of milk. We're currently in Leek. In 500 meters, After 500 oh, meters, leave the road to the second exit and continue to follow the A520. She's so polite. She says please. She says please. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yes, so now we are heading to Sheffield. Yes, and we're going to be going back to the Sexton's Lodge. Explain where that one is. Please take the second exit. I can't. Follow the A five hundred and twenty. I can't hold and explain at the same time. Oh, too much for you. This is why I drove through a red light because it was too much. Um, okay, so I did. I drove through a red light. <laughs> Well, with Renata, you know, it's red! At the last minute, so I pulled it up to a stop um, in the middle of the intersection. But that's okay, I stopped. Uh, this is a little place where we stayed at last time, which is actually the hut that is on the, the entrance to Sheffield Cemetery in Sharrow. So we, uh, we, we look at gravestones out our back window and we go for a stroll through the graveyard. It's fabulous. Are we heading back there again? Yep. Uh, just as we're travelling along, talk a little bit about our little adventure to Canuck Chase yesterday, which turned out to be just a little adventure <coughs> um, because we got some local insight to Canuck Chase um, and our idea of maybe going out there at night and uh, having, <laughs> having a bit of a look around. Might not be a good idea. And the locals were going, no, don't do that, no. Um, it's it's not a good idea to go to Canic Chase at night. And we learnt about dogging. Oh, let's not talk about dogging. Yeah, but dogging. Yes. Look it up. Yes. <laughs> not going to talk about it here. Yeah, but apparently that's what goes on at Canic Chase a lot, a lot. Um, and, and we didn't want to watch that. No. So, and and other, let me say it's got nothing to do with dogs. No. Um, Except maybe a style. Other other nefarious things going on there, which. Uh, Two our, little old ladies should not be involved in. <laughs> no, no, it's not a ghost granny thing. It, it really isn't. Uh, it might be paranormal, um, but it's not. Yeah, not. It's good. not paranormal. <laughs> it's, it's not. Good. So we kind of thought mm, we we did go in for a little bit of a walk. It's very very pretty there. Um, we did go past the Pie Green Tower. Yes, P Y E, and that's where they see lots of. Uf UFO sightings. Oh, hello! I just want to get a close up on this while we're there, because you know we travel, and every time we travel, I get giant sits. Um, yeah, so that's that's when we did our episode of True Hauntings on Canic Chase. There was reports of UFO uh, activity around the tower, and also the cafe down the bottom of the hill is where the black-eyed children are seen as well. Yeah. So we we went for a wander all through there. We didn't sense or feel anything. But you had an important visit to a um, memorial. Yes, yes. Do you want to put it on you? <clears throat> she doesn't like being on camera, no. but we all like to look at Auntie Nada, don't we? Oh, hello. 
Uh, yes, there is a memorial there to um, the people who lost their lives um, in the Katyn massacre, uh, where uh, the Russians took out thousands of uh, Polish soldiers and buried them in um, unmarked graves in pits. Murdered them first. Yeah, and um, the, the because Kanek is um, or has a large Polish community there, they created this beautiful site, a memorial site. Um, I sent the pictures to my husband actually, um, and he sent them on to his mother um, because he was just so thrilled at this beautiful, beautiful um, memorial that they have in the woods there uh, to these poor people who literally were herded into um, cars and trucks and taken to this forest and shot by the Russians by the Russians thousands and I'm talking thousands of them so yeah mm. so that was it was a, a heart-wrenching moment for me to see all of that but um, thank you to the people of Kanek to um, have spent time in creating that beautiful memorial for those people yeah we are climbing up this big hill Look at the stone formations coming up. Oh, oh there's going to be some sort of legend about that. that. It's, oh, there's people hiking up there. Do you want to go for a hike, Renata? No. No, no neither. Oh, leave Isn't that quite pretty? Miranda! Oh, there's, there's probably, Miranda! <laughs> there's probably going to be some sort of a legend about that spot. Definitely. And the cute little stone house. Oh! just went past the oldy stony inn. Oh, the owl sleeping on the road. Oh, oh terrible. Oh. There's lots of animals that sleep on the road here. I don't know why. Oh. Yeah, and over that way. So we're, we're kind of coming up to the top of a hill and I'm, I really want to see what's on the other side. The grass is always greener on the other side. There's more. Okay. Oh, pretty trees. We'll wait. 